Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use patches in your project by using Composer. So in previous video, I posted about how to create a patch file. And today we are going to see about how to use the patch file in your Composer. And here, uh, this is the file which we patched yesterday. And we just created this single line and created a patch for it. So keeping this line without tracking is not recommended. So we have to track it somehow. So that's why we are going to create a patch pair and we are going to update it by using the composer. And for that, what you have to do? So first I have to remove all the changes. So since it's single line, I can uh, uh, do it by myself. But if you're doing changes on multiple file, it's difficult to uh, do the changes, right? So for that, what you have to do, you just first stash your changes, all your changes. Okay, now the change is gone. Next, what I'm going to do, and this folder structure here, you can see we have the patch file. This is the patch file. So first we have to check whether the patch file is working well or not with our module. So to do that, first you have to check by applying the patch manually and also uh, reversing it. To do that, first you have to run a command patch hyphen p1 less than I think it's yeah, less than symbol and then the patch file link it I can switch the patch file when you run this the patch will be applying to your module if you go now to your module file this yeah this is so here you can see the patch is applied you can reverse it. You just need to add hyphen off. Now the patch is removed. So which means our patch file is working fine with our patch, patch file. Okay. And then next what you have to do, you have to handle the patch with Composer. To do that, you have to download a library, the Composer patch library. I will add this command in the description. So I have to go to the module book. And run the command. So it will uh, download a package to handle the patches with Composer. So now the package is downloaded successfully. Next, what you have to do, go to your uh, module, reboot, and there you can see your compose.json. Just open this. And here, if you go to extra section here, so there will be new section called extra. Here you have to add your patch. Close open like this, Drupal slash your module name. It's a link it. And then next, what you have to do? And then next, what you have to do here? You have to mention your patch, add it, comments. And then path of the file. So before that, you have to create a folder called patch. You can create here or you can keep it inside. Patches and in that you have to copy paste that file. Good. Fixed it. So now you have to link this file there. Here. Patches slash the file name. Dot patch. That's it. So now this is done. Next, you have to run composer update iPhone iPhone. 
It's not working. Let me check why. Okay, you have to keep it here, patches. Patches. And then where? You have to mention this. Now it's correct. So now let me run this. Okay. And now the patch is applied successfully. And then next, I will go to my module and check whether it's looking fine or not. Web, modules, contrib, link it, the module file. So you can see our comment is added. Okay. So this is how you have to handle the patches in your project by using Composer. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.